Hi, I'm Shane with UTR.com. Today I'm going to walk through how to install Roadmaster's dialed wiring kit on your 2017 Ford Taurus flat tow setup. Being able to flat tow your vehicle behind your motorhome is going to make it a lot easier when you get to your campsite because we're going to be able to leave the motorhome set up. We're going to have another vehicle to get us to the store or to go exploring. Dial wiring kit is going to be one of the six main components needed to flat tow the Taurus. Our dial wiring kit is going to allow our vehicle to receive light functions from the RV while it's being flat towed. So that not only we're safe, but everyone else is safe also. So they know what we're doing, whether it's braking, turning, or driving at night. This cable is going to give you your 7 pole in for your RV, your 6 pole in for your vehicle, and the straight cable is going to allow you to send it through the channel on the tow bar to help keep it up off the ground and keep it from dragging and getting damaged. We're going to have six wires with a nice durable coating that's going to not only protect our wires from the elements, but it's also going to protect our tow bar finish from scrapes and scratches. To begin your installation, it's going to make it a lot easier if you do this when you install your base plate and you have your fascia already off. You're going to attach your wire right here to the two uh, prongs coming off your base plate. Leave a little bit of extra. I routed it right behind my driver's side headlight. I put a little bit up here in the engine compartment so that I can tie my braking system into it. I ran it from here down back behind against the firewall down to the bottom of the car. You want to make sure when routing this to the back of the vehicle you stay away from anything hot or moving. I came right down along the frame rail. I actually went underneath right behind my uh, wheel wall liner. Came right over to this corner. I actually put a small hole in this plastic and put a zip tie on it. You can see I wrapped, I just put a little bit of uh, some uh, vacuum line on there just so it doesn't rub up against the metal. And I ran it right inside this plastic because I really have nowhere here, plus it's exposed on the very bottom. I just push it right back behind each one of these to here. I came up over top of my axle right here. Went over the top of the axle. Behind this hard line. From here, what we're gonna do is right up in this corner, on the inside of the vehicle, is a rubber grommet. We're going to take our wires and we're going to run them up and it goes right behind the carpet pad uh, that's in the trunk of the car. The reason we're doing it this way is because the wires to the back taillights are too short. So we're going to actually make the connections inside the trunk behind the panel. So we're going to run all of our wires up inside. Next, what we need to do is we need to remove our tail light. We're going to have two uh, little plastic nuts here right on the top of our carpeting. Pull them out. We're going to pull back our carpeting. We're going to have three nuts here we need to remove. We're going to use a 7 16 socket. We're just going to slide our tail light back and we're going to unplug the plug that's up. Push that little black tab and we'll set our tail light aside. We're going to do that same thing on the passenger side. The reason we want to take our tail light off uh, is because we're actually going to test through our plug here rather than probing, uh, probing the wires ourselves. Uh, these wires are too short to actually put our diodes on, so what we're going to do is if we pull out this grommet, Back behind our carpeting, we know all of our wires are the same color. We're going to have plenty that we can actually attach our diodes in here. So you can see right here in this corner is where our wiring came through. And your grommet looks just like this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slit in this grommet. I'm going to put this grommet back in place.
my white wire on my ground right here. We determined through testing that our yellow wire is going to be our running light signal. Our brown or peach colored wire is going to be our brake signal. And this gray wire is actually our turn signal. So this is actually a three wire system. What we're gonna do is while the car is being flat towed, it's gonna be a combined system. We're gonna combine it to a two wire. So we're not gonna be using the gray wire. We're gonna be using the brown wire, which is our brake signal as our brake and our turn. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our brown wire. We're gonna strip back both sides. These wires are pretty thin, so I like to do a little bit extra and then double it over. Take one of the blue terminals, come in our diode, and add it on to each brown wire. Now we're going to take our yellow wire, we're going to cut it down to size, strip it back, lay it on another blue spade connector. Take our diode, single side goes out towards the plug, the other two go on the other ends. Once we cut our brown wire and we connect it into our diode, that is re-completing the circuit. Our yellow wire coming from our diode kit is actually uh, combining our signal through the diode. The diode actually protects our factory wiring from any backfeed. So now we're gonna do our running light signal. This one is just a little bit different. Go ahead and cut our wire. We're gonna strip it back just the way we did the other one. You're gonna have a dial that has a yellow connector on it. We're gonna take one of the blue ones, connect it on the wire we just cut. Blue spade connector. Our brown wire which is our running light signal from our diode kit. We're gonna cut it to size, except we're gonna hold on to our brown wire. We're actually going to strip back both ends. Blue spade connector. Our brown wire, which is our running light signal from our diode kit, we're going to cut it to size, except we're going to hold on to our brown wire. We're actually going to strip back both ends. We're going to take these two, tie them together. Take your yellow connector, which is a larger one, add it onto the end of your wires. Again, single side towards the plug. 
and we just plug the other two in. The reason we doubled up our brown wire is because this is gonna be our jumper wire for our running light signal on our passenger side. The diodes are gonna have some two-sided sticky tape on them. I'm gonna stick them right. I'll put one here. And the other one. I'm gonna stick it right here. Now I'm gonna remove this panel. All we need to do is just pull up on it. Pull it out, we're gonna set it aside. We're gonna take our wires. I'm actually going to route them right across here over to the passenger side. We only need to route our brown and green wire. So from here, if you pull back the corner of your, your padding, there's actually a large hole and there's a large hole on each side. I have an airline tube running down through and out the other side. You can see I've attached my wires. Now I'll pull my airline tube out on my passenger side and my wires will follow it. Uh, what I did is just tape my wires to the end of the airline tube. Your passenger side wires are going to be the same colors, yellow is running lights, brown or the peaches color is going to be your brake and turn signal. The difference between the passenger and driver side is your brown wire from your dial kit, you only have one on your passenger side where we double it up on the driver side. Just for testing purposes, before we get our fascia put back on, uh, I'm going to take my six pole plug out of my kit. On the back, everything is going to be marked uh, to match up with our wires. Green, right turn, RT, left turn, LT, ground, GD, TM is going to be running lights. You can use a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver for these screws. Uh, don't take them all the way out, they are small. I suggest using a flathead. The Phillips seems to strip out, strip out the screw pretty easy. I'm going to start with my right turn, green wire. Put it in. Followed by the left turn. ground wire and then our running line signal. Then you have two extra pins for any additional uh, items you may want to add, like battery charge line, stuff like that. To install the Roadmaster uh, seven pole to six pole straight cable, uh, typically, these are going to be used for tow bars, like our Falcon All-Train here, that have a channel. The straight cable actually is going to feed and live inside this channel. It's going to help keep it off the ground. So what we're going to do, the seven pole end is going to go towards this end of your tow bar, which mounts to the camper or the RV. We're going to take the other end. We're going to feed it through our channel. Okay. 
we're going to take our plug that comes with it, take the small screw on the top, small Phillips head screwdriver. We're also going to go ahead and loosen this larger one here in the back. We won't have to take it all the way out. We'll slide our plug out. And take our wire. Slide it in from the back. Like that. Take our plug. And on our plug, each one's going to be marked. That's what our wires are going to look like when they're on the plug. Again, green wire is your right turn signal. Yellow wire is left turn signal. White wire is your ground. Brown wire is going to be your running light signal. Blue wire goes to the S port. And your black wire goes to the center pin. Once you get those on and tight, we're going to take our plug, line it up with the hole on the front. And reinsert your screw. Once you get that in, you can tighten the larger Phillips head uh, bolt in the back. What that one does, is it has a little uh, plate here that tightens down on the cord to keep it from pulling out. Now we'll test out our wiring using an alternate power source. This is going to simulate being hooked up to our RV. Tail lights, left turn, brake lights, right turn. Once you've tested everything, you know it's working correctly, go ahead and remove your plug so you can reinstall your fascia. You can reinstall your panels in the back and you're ready to go. Again, I'm Shane with eTower.com. I hope this video has helped you, whether it's still deciding or installing the Roadmaster diode wiring kit on your 2017 Ford Taurus.